boom to the hay, all you sports fans out there in the tubo sphere, to you, the individual, as part of the collective. Welcome to Fast Track Sports Rack College here, on talk radio version of the OMSR. I am your brief but concise host, Will, the alternative ESPN Sports Thrill. Always do a little show like this to let you know the clipboard are coming up and the whys and wherefores. Get a significantly longer highlights reel that way. And the quickie sport rant of the segment. Why? Have to go through this legalese. Sh sh you know, spiel, if you please. That's all due to the fabulous OMSR sponsor being the DMCA. So many thanks to it and all the goodies it covers. All the video highlights courtesy to ESPN and the respective universities. Little shout out to the NCAA. Everything else to the OMSR. Well, the wherefores. Talk briefly and concisely about Mercer, Mercy Me, and Florida Gulf Coast rematch for the title game last year. Okay, so on the quickie sport rant of the segment. Why is it in the field of 64? And this has been a common thing throughout these mid major tournament titles. I brought it up in presented it in a couple of different ways. That there still is not enough room for at-large bids to be given to some of these other schools from these mid-majors. There's a lot of pressure on all these schools. We got to win the tournament title game. That's the only way we're going to be able to punch our ticket. I used the Murray State example from last year. Really bugged me. And Baylor getting snubbed as well. This is the same Murray State who started out, or that started out, 22 and oh, and then they sort of like, kind of crumb things crumbled around them. Ended up being like a 25 and 9 or a you know, 25 and 10 record. And they lose to Belmont in the final of that conference, which is, I believe, OVC. Uh, yeah, Ohio Valley. And they get snubbed. Belmont goes, Murray State doesn't get an at large. Also, because power went out in the building there at uh, uh, FGCU. Campus sort of lost track of the game because it ended up being like a four and a half hour affair and sort of lost track of it. But the final eight minutes, snippet wise, vignette that I put together for you covers the basis pretty well because at that moment it was like the closest the game had been in a while, plus a few signature highlight real dunks, men's sig do high die playlist. That's also on the channel. So, congratulations to Mercer. Mercy me. Hey, I'm not talking too loud to you people there in Macon, Georgia, right? <laughs> Still drinking today, I'm sure. I would be. Since 1985. Wow. So apparently my theory of, you know, on some other shows where I've said, never heard of these schools before, back when it was only 32, is incorrect. There just weren't as many at largest given out back then. All right, thanks for watching. That's what's coming up. No silly DIYs while you're out there. Roll clips. Back Mercer as much. Five senior starters they've been in this type of environment. They've won at Tennessee and Alabama. And we talked about Gallup, who is a six-year senior, received two medical race reviews because of injury. But Mercer is playing for something. They want to be able to be able to say that they played in the NCAA tournament. They won that invitation. And the only way to get it is going to be going through Florida Gulf Coast here on their home floor. Florida Gulf Coast has beaten Mercer twice. Back in Macon, they want revenge. Last two years, FGCU has knocked Mercer out of the A-Sides tournament. Finals last year's semis the year before. Peeler had it stripped. White to the rack. Might have been a goaltend. Martin got it. And the foul. Coach Hoffman and his staff wanted the goaltend, but after they get the offensive rebound, and the opportunity for the and one, they're fine with the play going, and Fielder was a great block, but Moten with even better effort finishing through the contact and an opportunity. And the defensive play by White on the other end, coming up with the steal and getting it down in transition. Again, the senior backboard for Mercer coming up with two plays to answer for the golf goal. You got a Thompson with Homer out. Foul against Peeler. That's his fourth. The Bigs are one foul away from disqualification in Dunk City. When you look at the car play, and you know that when you have good car play in college basketball, you can continue to advance.
Corsi right on the doorstep. His first bucket of the second half. And Mercer is trying to go to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 85. Is about six minutes away. And Mercer switches to the zone defense on the fly. And that's when you know you have a veteran group. When you can switch a defense just simply by looking over at the coach, everyone gets on the same page. Jones off the window. Jamel Jones doesn't care. He's going to attack the basket. And that's how they will find success going through the body of the most defender. Top two seeds in the A side, both to the postseason. Kramer slipped it away. Thompson slams it down. Thompson, a junior from Georgia, who had 23 against both Georgetown and San Diego State in the two NCAA tournament wins last year. He's a good friend of Louisville's Kevin Ware. They played in high school together. And now Mike Nance talking to his crew with 534 to go. And I believe the officials are going to check the monitor just to make sure there was no extracurricular activity. After the play, officials jumped in and players had to be separated, but they want to make sure that there was nothing malintent done. FTCU is the first team in A-Sun history to go to the conference championship game. In the first three years, it was eligible. A rare feat for Dunk City, which saw applications go up to this school about 40% between last year and this year. And deservingly so, because the people here in Fort Myers have done a tremendous job building a remarkable campus here. And you have to give Andy Enfield a lot of credit, but Joe Dooley continuing the tradition of a great basketball program being built here. Here's the senior, Langston Hall. Open look. Fallon, a huge three. You has to just marvel at the poise of this Mercer group. I mean, every time Florida Gold Coast makes a run, they just continue to answer. Difficult shot. One and done. And Thompson and Comer both have to be careful not to try to do too much. Trust what they did to get back into this game. Do it defensively, get steals out of transition, and then execute on the offensive end. Dolan. Oh, a heat check for the senior from Wisconsin. Feeler to Comer. That's their game. That's the way the Eagles fly. Getting out in transition, putting the pressure on defense, and running on makes or misses. But it's going to come to the defensive end. Florida Gulf Coast is going to have to get some stops. Dolan, five in the corner. Wamu, just missed. Palmer, in the lane. Getting chippy. 3.40 to go in the Atlantic Sun title game in Fort Myers, where the Rims could use some reinforcement. The follow dunk in a three-point game. McKnight sat out 2012. His first year of eligibility here last year is six and a half points a game. That's up this season. Oh, for two. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament, ticking down to two minutes in the Atlantic Sun. Morrissey to screen. Langston Hall, the senior from Atlanta. 
Eight to shoot for Hall. Pull up. Bring it up. That's the exact same pull up he hit in the first half. We talked about the confidence. And again, the two senior guards from Mercer continue to put on the show. 14 for Hall. Block for Corsi. A five-point lead. The Bears can slow it down. Ball to Collin. Thomas. Corsi! Thompson, desperation. Spent each and end of Culver. Jones, time running out. Bounds to Mercer. I tell you, as Corsi got that dunk on the other end, I won't say he jumped just as high, but Coach Bob Hoffman got up off the ground. Excited to see his senior finishing it in what could be the dagger in this championship game. Seven years ago, Bob Hoffman was coaching the ABA's Arkansas Arrows. He might be the guy to bring Mercer to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1985 when they had Sam Mitchell. I tell you, he talked about his guys earlier today, and he told me whether we win or not, my guys are champions. But I can tell you, I'm sure he feels much better with an opportunity for him to be able to go out and play in the NCAA tournament. These are all players that he recruited coming into this program, and to see the, the, basically the fruit of their hard work, get them an opportunity to play in what is the best, the best experience as a college basketball player. His opportunity to play. And Macon, Georgia celebrates. More coverage from Fort Myers on ESPN 3, but our final score is 16.